Welcome VR lovers and Oculus Quest fans. My name is Tony and today I'll take you through a brief tutorial on how you can play Steam VR games from your PC to your Quest wirelessly. Now of course in order to make this work you need a decent wireless network. I'm using the Netgear Orbi RBK40 AC 2200 and connecting the Quest in a 5 GHz 866 megabit per second band and the signal is traveling right through the ceiling up into my play area. We're going to use a program called ALVR from the SideQuest store. If you're not familiar with SideQuest, there's a link in this video and in the description below of a tutorial where I take you through what SideQuest is and how to install it. Now you might think that we begin by installing this app onto your Oculus Quest through the SideQuest store but a newer version exists, so we don't want to do that. Instead, we want to visit this web page. You can find the link in the description below. We want to download these two files here. Then we unzip the alvr.zip file, either with something like winzip or winbar. Then making sure your quest is connected to SideQuest, drag and drop the APK file we just downloaded to the symbol up in the top left hand corner. Now you see the install failed for my one and that's because I had a previous version of ALVR installed. If you have the previous version installed you need to uninstall it first so go into apps then find ALVR right at the top click the clog click uninstall app now if you go back to my task list you can see the app has been uninstalled I'll look at the apps and it's not there anymore. So we can now drag and drop the APK file and it will install this time. Okay, now that's installed. We can go down to the ALVR folder that we just unzipped recently and you'll see the alvr.exe here. So we open the exe file and you'll see it recognizes that I actually have a previous version of this on my desktop. Just click on OK, uninstalls it, so you don't need to uninstall it yourself. And now we have the app open. Next, put the Oculus Quest on your head, go into Unknown Sources, and find the ALVR app. It will ask your permission to record audio, click Allow. And then it will ask you to press Connect on the ALVR server. So the next part is a bit tricky. You have to make sure the Oculus Quest remains on while you're accessing ALVR through your desktop. You can use this sticky note technique to cover the sensor or try look at the screen like I did while wearing the headset. Next we go back to our desktop and look at our ALVR app and you should see something like this. We click the connect button. So it should connect soon. While we're waiting, I'm just gonna mention the tabs up top here we can play around with the video and other settings to help get optimal performance. Now, if you're having trouble connecting, a good place to start is checking your firewall, making sure that the settings are allowing this program to access the firewall. Now, put your headset back on. You should see something like this saying, press trigger to start Steam VR. Of course, we press the trigger. Now, if you don't have Steam already up, it might take a while to begin. But sure enough, it will eventually start up. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go back to your desktop, access Team VR, and run a room setup. Now we're connected wirelessly. We can go into Steam VR, do the room setup, make sure you click standing only, otherwise it won't work, and just follow the step to calibrate your headset. And that's it for now. As always, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. In the future, I plan to do a video comparing Steam VR using a wired connection versus wireless, but it's bye for now.